With Valentine's Day around the corner, here are a couple things Columbia students have said that can either make or break the big day. Buy the little cards that you got in grade school and passed out and pass them out. I guess a do would be going out to dinner with somebody nice and somebody special. Uh, no cheesy hotel candle thing. Can't stand that. It's Valentine's Day. It's the day when you're supposed to be nicer than usual. Don't break up with anybody near Valentine's Day, I guess. Don't break up with your girlfriend, her significant other, I would have to say. Uh, that would be a bad day to, uh, you know, break their heart, so. Don't cheat. That was my thing. Okay. Oops. It was just treating the lady with respect. I mean, getting, getting her flowers, getting her chocolates and all that. Uh, the don'ts are just really being rude, inconsiderate. Really, the Valentine's Day is for her. It's not really, it's, I don't really consider it a day for us. It's a day for her, so. I guess don't make it about me at all. Because it's not supposed to be about the guy ever, if you're the guy, I think. So don't make it about me. Okay, you cannot mess up a date. Like, if someone is expecting you to try really hard and you're like, hey, we're going to Taco Bell, um, you just messed up your Valentine's oh, Day. I, agree. I also think it's important to not do something that's not you. Like, I don't think you want to copy your favorite movie or something if it's really not a date you would ever do. Um, I don't know, it's gotta be special, that's the thing. If it's some cookie cutter night or date or romantic evening, then it's not personalized. I think that's the most important thing. Whether you buy a lot of flowers or make duct tape flowers or make your own card instead of buying a card, I think that the, what really counts on Valentine's Day is making it special, making it personal, making it yourself. Be yourself. A rose. It was really cute, it was really, you know, uh, classy and it was very, you know, as cliched as it was, it was still really sweet to get it, so. Oh, man. See, this is going to be bad because I don't remember them. Um. I'm probably a teddy bear. <laughs> That's all I got. Really. Um, the best gift was when my girlfriend went to my job with, like, flowers and spent the Valentine's Day night there with me. A ring. A, a complete silver ring that says, only love you. A tie with, uh... My name written in hearts. I have no idea. A, a ring. A proposal. That'd be fantastic and cliched and nice. It's, yeah. Just time to hang out. Because normally I don't get a lot of time to hang out with my girlfriend. So just being able to get the time. So watching movies. <laughs> time. To go to Canada and not come back and get married because they legalized gay marriage over there already. I don't really have a dreams Valentine's Day gift as long as, you know, he loves me and treats me right and, you know, he shows that in a respectable way. That's fine for me. Maybe a little different. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it would probably have to be uh, a car. 